Hello, this is a demonstration of the signature editor of Laidout. This is the new document dialog that you're greeted with when you first start up Laidout. You can choose from various imposition resources, such as singles, a cube, a dodecahedron, you know, just the basics. What we really want to do is a new signature, so there's that. And here is the editor itself, and normally you start with a blank piece of paper like this. Uh, you can uh, remove edges from the paper, so say you want to trim before you do anything else. And you just position these as you want. You can move these around just normally, or if you hold down shift it'll move more precisely, or shift and control will move extra precisely, so you don't necessarily have to type in anything by hand. Uh, so now we've... If, if you're happy with the your inset values now, how much it's inset from the side of the paper, you can uh, choose how many tiles you want. So let's do two. Let's do four tiles. So you're going to chop up the piece of paper into four different pieces, and you can choose a, the gap that's in between the tiles. All right. So if you're happy with that, now you can move on to the the page itself. So let's see. All right. Now you want to put in folds. Right now it's just it's a piece of paper that's not really folded. It's still bound on one side. That's what this mysterious green bar is indicating. But you can put in any number of folds. Then once you have defined where the folds go, you can just click and drag and uh, do any sort of folds you want. So I'm going to do a six fold, or not a six fold, a three fold, which makes six pages on one side. So you can fold down. Uh, you can also fold underneath, so if you hold down shift and move, it'll uh, go up underneath and then fold across. And you can move this green bar around, so if you want to do a calendar, for instance, you would have it at the top. If you bind it on the left, it's like a western book, so pages uh, open from, like you turn the page by pulling right to left, or the Japanese style where it goes from left to right. Or you can even bind it on the bottom if you're, if you're just kind of strange. So in any case, you can uh, now adjust margin and trim values for the actual page. Uh, so uh, once you fold, oftentimes because of creep, uh, you want to chop off some bits. So you can move the, the red arrows to chop things off, and then you can move the gray ones to adjust a default margin. When you go to import images later on, It'll import into the areas defined by the margins, not the actual page boundaries. In any case, now you have that. Now let's say you've you have a this complicated folding pattern, and you've uh, you've been showing off to someone, and you suddenly realize you have no idea what you're doing. Well, that's what these things over here are for. You can replay all of the folds that you did before. Just go through one by one. Fun for the whole family. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial.